I don't remember the date. Frank Delacino, talking about movies. Frank, I have two veterans here with me, Royce Granton and Matt Gallagher. Hey, Frank. Okay, and where did they serve? Uh, we both served in Iraq. All right. And when were we there? I was there 2003 to 2004. And I was there 2007 through 2009. Oh, wow. Okay, well, glad to have you back. Well, and they have a back. book of, um, of non of, of fiction, fiction stories by veterans, and they're going to be in Austin. Uh, Roy's going to be in Austin. You're both going to be in Austin. That's right. Yes. When? End of May. End of May. End of May. And you'll be retired by then, so you can you and your wife can take a trek. That's right. Hey, where where in Austin? We're in Austin. At Book People. Book People. Book People. Okay. Well, a good luck. I I I have done book signings, and they can be they can make you feel like you're a star, or they can make you feel like you're a bum. So. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to you. You never know what's going to happen. Thanks. Appreciate hey Frank, that. Hey, Frank, what's our, um, our uh, movie for a week from tonight, of tomorrow night? Is uh, the next to last in your Alfred Hitchcock series. It's The Skin Game, 1931, an early sound film, Hitchcock's fourth talkie, talking. And the most important thing that your viewers want to know about is the Hitchcock cameo, and there is no cameo in this movie. He does not appear. No Hitchcock skin in the skin game. That's right. His skin is not in the game. It had to be a longer film to get his skin into it. I thought that he just got into the movies because he's so big the camera couldn't miss him. Uh, no, I had, nothing to do. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. It started off as something he did occasionally. And then uh, once he came to America, I think, all, I think all his movies when he came to America had him in them in somewhere. Before that, um, the, uh, it's kind of hit or miss. I, I think that the, 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 the movie we'll be talking about next week has a Hitchcock cameo, but not this one. And which movie is that? Uh, you'll end the series with the Hitchcock classic, The 39 Steps. Oh, great. So I look forward to speaking with you about that. All right. Um, Skin game, so it's the fourth talkie? It's his, it's his fourth talkie. It's the earliest talkie that you've shown, and, and your viewers will see that. The, um, you know, the Lon Chaney Sr. was a silent film star, and he made a famous quote. He goes, why should I stop making good silent movies and start making bad sound movies? And it took a while for the, uh, the art to catch up with the technology of sound, and then vice versa. They had artists who knew how to make silent films and not know how to make talky films, and you'll see some of that in here. It's uh, there's a lot of a lot of camera movement and fluidity, but the scenes tend to be long, and there's almost no close-ups in the movie, which is surprising for Hitchcock because he he made brilliant use of close-ups, you know, getting people at tense moments and all that. But there's not much of that in this movie, so in, in that in that sense, it's kind of a crude technique compared to a lot of things. It is a story of the landed gentry against the newly wealthy, or the the traditional lord of the manor against the new upstart industrialist. And I think the first line of the movie talks about, hey, they're cutting down more trees, and that is the skin game. The skin and the the, the term has nothing to, has nothing to do with anything salacious. Uh, you know, the this one entrenched traditional family sees uh, sees things be done the proper way but it, and the acquisition of land and the transformation of society becomes for the newcomers just the skin game whoever has the, the most bucks wins the game but then the title is uh, some often happens in Hitchcock movies takes on another meaning but when these two families really get into it uh, there's some dirt that's dug up uh, on some of them and then skin takes on a different meaning so in that sense I found it interesting to watch uh, You'll, you'll learn more about British divorce laws from the 1930s than you ever thought you'd want to know. Uh, there's not many people in here uh, that viewers will recognize. The, the star of it is Edmund Gwynn, who we see every Christmas time. He played Santa Claus in Miracle on 34th Street, and he was in the horror movie Them, and he was in two other Hitchcock movies. That he, he's quite good in this movie. And that may be the only person that, some of you, that most of your viewers will rec recognize. Uh, there's another actor who you won't recognize, uh, Frank Lawton, who's a young man here. A few years later, he comes to America, and he pops up in American movies like David Copperfield, and he starred opposite Lugosi and Karloff in The Invisible Ray. But you don't see him much. And, uh, the, 30, uh, second, 30 right. seconds, Frank. 10 seconds, okay. 30, 30. There's a young actress, Jill Osmond, who is Mrs. Lawrence Olivier. She won't be for long, but when she made this movie, she was married to Lawrence Olivier, and she was actually more famous than he was. 
Joe, I'll talk to you next week. 39 steps, Frank. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. That's Frank Delostrito, and we've had a tradition now of like maybe two years, him calling in and having this great author doing film reviews for us. He's a That's fantastic. Bela Lugosi biographer. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. okay. And right. good luck tomorrow night at the Harvard Bookstore. Good Thanks. luck on your tour. Thank, Thank you, Joe. We appreciate you coming back. Of course. You coming here for the first time. It was delightful, Joe. Thanks. Views and opinions on visual radio are those of me and my guests. Thank you, Judy Kellerman. Thank you, Gene Martin. Thank you, Sean O'Brien. Thank you, Wincam. Uh, visual radio next week. We've got more guests coming in. We've got Gerald Shea coming in in about three weeks from DeCapo Press. Thank you, Lisa Warren at DeCapo. And thank you guys again. That's visual radio for Thursday, the 7th.